Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just going for a little walk in the forest near my house. So you can hear the church bells and stuff going. So this is quite normal for this time of day. But we're out looking for moss and some sticks and whatever else I can find lying around. So I'm doing a little redo on the black water tank I made a while back. So I'll leave a link just in the top corner and in the description if you want to check that one out but for now we're going to be redoing it i'm thinking of doing a mossarium this time i know i use moss quite often but rather than doing a terrarium we're going to try a mossarium this time so primarily moss and you'll recognize the primary piece of wood i'm going to use for my escape because it's the one straight out of the black water tank so it's a nice piece of wood i'll probably have to chop it up a little bit but we'll see how it goes so this is going to be a little practice run for a bigger project I'm doing. So I just want to see how it turns out and the sort of style and see how the moss goes. So I've got a quite a cool little collaboration that's probably going to be coming in the next few months. So this little build is going to be a little warm up for a new vampire crab tank I'm doing. I've got some tickets to see an exotic animal expo here in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully I can find a few new species of vampire crab there. So I'm hoping to get some mandarins or tomatoes. So we'll see how it goes, but that's the plan. Um, if you want me to do a vlog style video of that expo, just let me know in the comments. I've got all the gear, so I might as well try, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we'll just walk around the forest a little bit more, see what we can find, collect some moss and some other stuff, and then we can get back into the terrarium build. Moss Arium, whatever we're going to call it. So if you're wondering what I'm doing out here as well, I've got a new gimbal now, a Zyun or Ziyun M2S. So I'm just uh, doing a bit of experimenting with it as well. So mind some of that wonkiness and weirdness with the footage. It's just uh, me figuring out how to use this new gimbal. I've got an unboxing video and I'll do a follow-up review video on it at some stage on my other channel. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description and something in the top right-hand corner here. Anyway, we'll just duck over here and see what kind of moss is around. Looks pretty good from here, but we will see. Had quite a lot of storms this winter, so there's a lot of fallen trees and plenty of stuff lying around. And there's a little bit of snow melt around still, so you can see some of that on the ground up here by the looks. Okay, this is the perfect spot to get some moss. We'll see what types are around.
Okay, so I'll just show you the stuff that I just picked up. So it's pretty good looking moss. I'm not 100% sure on the type yet, but we'll see. Perhaps someone in the comments will know. Kind of looks like Christmas moss from the aquarium stuff, but who knows. Also looks a little bit kind of like hypnum moss, but hard to tell. So that's it there. It's quite fluffy. Uh, it sort of grows in a mound rather than flat on a surface. So it's probably about three inches deep there, mostly roots. As you can see over here, same sort of stuff. Uh, it's actually got snow still lying on top of it, still starting to melt. Okay, so this will be the last little bit of stuff I collect. Probably should have brought something to collect it with, but a stick will help. Otherwise, I'll just be using my hands. The only problem is, sometimes you come across little critters. Spiders and centipedes usually. But, there's nothing really dangerous here, so... Nothing to really be worried about. Okay, that pretty much wraps up this little collection session, so we'll just head home now and start building. See you then. Okay, so that's one of our pots of moss that we collected today, and the other one that I collected a few days ago. So, this one here is more of a carpet, but we'll see that uh, go in shortly. So, that's what we're working with, and we have our tank in the background. So, that's my old black water tank. The gravel in the bottom I'm going to be reusing, so that's the old substrate and we need a little drainage layer in this tank, so it's staying in. So again, that's the moss there. From memory, I'm pretty sure that's hypnum moss. So let's get started. First up, I'm just putting in a small layer, so not too thick, of soil. So this is a mix of just organic soil and uh, cocoa fiber. So I use this for most of my vampire crab builds, so this works really well for the moss. I'm just spreading it evenly across the surface, uh, a couple of centimeters thick, maybe an inch, a little bit higher at the back, but not too much because I want to keep this build quite flat. Okay, so this time I'm going to pat it quite firm, so... I'm not really planting anything specific into it. It's just going to be moss, so the moss will sit on top. So a firm layer is going to work quite well. Nothing too crazy compact, but just, just enough uh, to get it a little bit flatter. Okay, so now we can add out sheets of moss. So I got this off quite a big log, so it's a nice big sheet. I've got a couple of these and we'll just put them in. So we're just gonna lay this down. Don't try to mash it into the ground. Um, it's got bark underneath, so it's got plenty of uh, nutrients and stuff to live off. So eventually it will slowly take hold in the tank. 
that'll take quite a while. So now I'm just going to keep adding the moss just to get a full carpet in the tank. Uh, most of this moss is the same stuff, though there are little variations in color and whatnot from depending on where they were growing in the forest. As you can see, just put it down gently. You don't need to squash it too much. And when you're removing this moss from the forest, it's also a good idea to try and keep some of the base on it. So whatever it's growing on, try to take that with you. Just like this little example here. So as you can see, that's some of the stuff it originally started growing on. So mostly wood bark and a little bit of soil. Now just to fill in the gaps and make sure it's not too patchy. And that's the main part done. Okay, now we're going to add my piece of wood, so you'll recognize this from the introduction and the black waterscape if you've seen it already. Uh, I quite like this piece of wood, uh, worked great in the black water tank, released plenty of tannins, but it's time to move on. I was uh, getting a little bit bored of it, and it was kind of too dark and boring, so we're going to spice things up with lots of green. Um, I'm going to need a lid for this because I don't want any critters escaping in the future, so I'm going to need to cut this wood unfortunately which will probably make it useless for future projects, but it needs to be done. So just marking a line and then I'm going to cut it with the saw quickly and then we'll get straight back into it. Okay, so that is the piece cut. Doesn't look quite as cool at the top, but we'll fix that up later. And once the lid's on, you won't even notice it. got the main piece in exactly where I want it we can start adding some of the detail moss so we'll start with this stuff I'm not exactly sure what this type of moss is it looks like some sort of a cushion moss uh, someone might be able to give me the exact name of it so I'm just sitting this stuff on lightly there's no need to glue it down or anything there's nothing crazy going to be happening in this tank so there's no real need <laughs> Just adding some of the other mosses this stuff here is star moss it's quite a common one again i'm leaving most of it on the bark where possible it just saves causing any shock to the moss because it can be sensitive sometimes <laughs>
now to add a few more different types of moss around the place. So this was the Christmas looking stuff that I saw earlier in the introduction. I'm not exactly sure what that is either, but it's the first time I've seen it. So I'm just putting a few little sprigs of that around near the bottom sections just to add a little bit of detail. Finishing touches, just some star moss crammed into the little cracks and we'll see how this stuff takes hold. It should go pretty well and hopefully it starts to spread. Okay, perfect. That pretty much wraps up the build part of this. Um, keeping it nice and simple, basically just a full moss area. Now we can move on to showing everything off. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed.